Good morning. I am going into work late today because I have to work an event Friday night. So I'm going to take you guys along as I do some work around the homestead this morning, which is a pleasure I don't normally get to do on Monday mornings. So I've put off doing a few things. Uh, I'm going to go in and collect the eggs in a minute. But right now I'm going to take a minute to visit with the bunnies. I don't know how well you can see these guys, but Radar, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, months ago maybe, he was having a hard time being friendly because he hadn't gotten a lot of attention over the course of the um, winter. He definitely does not have that problem now. He is super happy to see us and he comes running and jumping like he did before. Now Crystal on the other hand, He's not so happy to be outside, but away from her babies. But we really only have two of her babies still here. The radar's like, don't pet her, pet me. I like it. She doesn't like it. Yeah. But I'm trying with Crystal. Now, one thing that Radar knows I have to treat Hi, would you like a treat? So Radar's going after the treat hardcore. He loves carrots. And so does she. She doesn't particularly like the fact that I'm holding it. But she likes carrots way more than she likes what she's eating now. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She's like, hmm, I'm going to show you. Just watch me keep eating this. Do you want to bite a carrot? I know you do. Oh, there you go. Let it go. Okay. I give in. I need carrot. I need to have some carrot. It is very bright, isn't it, Crystal? She's like squinting her eyes. Oh, I won't really be able to tell until we get in if you could see her eye color. She has the most beautiful blue eyes. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Such a sweet baby girl. Yes, you are, I love you. I love you. Here, I'm going to give you the carrot. Yeah. I'm going to give you the carrot and let you eat it yourself. Yes, I am. She's like, oh, that's much better. Much better. I love coming out here in the mornings. I love it so much. Yes, I do, you sweet baby. Yes, I do. You're such a sweet baby. All right, time to go do some other things. Before I leave the rabbit area out here, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about radar and the automatic watering system. So the first few attempts I put in were failures on my part to get them mechanically working. So, and he never initially would try, it would even try, the normal automatic water that everybody buys with the little things that you chew on. And I'll show you that in a minute. Well, my daughter came out here one day playing with them and she saw him eat or drink water out of it. And it just, so I came out to check and it just so happened his water bottle had run out and I guess he just finally broke down and decided he wanted water and wasn't going to wait for us to fill the water bottle up. <laughs> um, so he's been using the automatic water just fine since then. Now Crystal, we have given her a water bottle and the automatic waterer and I really don't know what she's using. I think that she's using both actually. But since we've put her out here, I haven't had to refill her water bottle. Now it is a 
64 ounce water bottle. It's a larger water bottle. But I should easily have had to refill it as much water as our rabbits drink. So I think that she's drinking from the five gallon bucket as well. And the water level is going down. I do have something attached to it so I can see the water level. So I'm very happy about that. Extremely happy. So let me show you the setup that we have just in case you haven't seen the other vlogs to know what I'm talking about. So this is Crystal's setup right here. So she has a large water bottle and the water level is right at here right now or yeah it's right here and this pipe or hose right here hooks to the five gallon bucket so if she nibbles on the edge on that little metal piece right there water will come out oh you can't see it all right so this tube right here is hooked to a five gallon bucket and if she nibbles on that little piece right in there oh, you can see it better this way so she nibbles on this little piece right here then water will come out so I'm pretty certain that she's been drinking water from both places to be honest with you now if you follow the cage setup you can see the water line goes all the way down and I don't have any hay in there, hay racks right now. We actually think my daughter might be allergic to the hay, so we're figuring that out right now. So this is the only water that um, Radar has access to right now, and he's doing just fine with it. He hasn't had any issues whatsoever. I still haven't seen him use it, He's hiding that from me. He's like, no way are you going to find out that I'm doing that. And then the water goes up here to the five gallon bucket and we have a line on it showing us how much is gone every day. So we know when to fill it up. And I just recently filled it all the way to the top. And this is a food grade bucket from uh, Tractor Supply. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders Some close stuff, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights
going back to your old life We're living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, we're riding on the dizzying high This is one of the things I hate about this property. <laughs> Can you see down in there? Probably not. There's a water little spigot down there. So I gotta get down there and turn that on because I think that's one of the things that feeds the front. So I turned the water on and now I gotta figure out where the water is going to. Because <laughs> I need to water all this stuff I planted recently. But I was too tired to water after I planted it. Well, here is the soaker hose that I was hoping I just turned on. But apparently did not. So let me go check up in the front and see if I got anything up there. Hello, little ladybug. Look at that. I love ladybugs. Well, the water's not on up here either on any of the rows. And the last time you guys saw this, there were roses up here and I have the coolest story to tell you about these roses um, you know that I am not a big fan of knockout roses and I really just wanted them gone but I have to be honest with you I, I'm also not a fan of pulling up thorns so <laughs> I don't want to do that part either and I happen to be walking in Lowe's and heard some people talking about the fact that they wanted uh, knockout roses. So I really, I kind of like ran into these guys that, and I was blocked because there's three of them standing there talking and they were talking about how they wanted knockout roses. And I said, but they couldn't afford them. So I said, well, how many are you guys looking for? I have some that you can come dig up. And they were like, all right. I said, now, are you sure? Because I have like 13 good sized bushes. They're not little like the ones here at Lowe's. <laughs> oh, I gotta go figure out the water. Um, anyway, they came out and looked and it took them a couple weeks to get here and get them. But it was a local church that wanted the roses for the front of their church, which is fantastic. So I'm glad that they got some use out of them. So they came and dug them up. Um, I think there was only one still left in the ground that was dead. So I dug that one up and took it out. But let me tell you, digging up one bush versus digging up 13, and I'm super happy that somebody got some use out of them. And I can plant some things up there that I want instead of things that everybody else wants. Well, not everybody else wants. I guess really instead of things that require a lot of pruning, because I don't need anything that requires more work than I already have to do on this property. Well, I actually didn't have very far to go. <laughs> this water source is watering the tea leaf plant here, which is a great thing. I'm glad that it is. 
I do wish it was hooked up to all those other water lines that go up to the front. So what I'm gonna have to do is trace those back and figure out where they go. Yeah, so the one by the hydrangea goes nowhere. It, it terminates here. So let's keep looking around and see what we can find. But I did find another soaker hose when I found the end of this one that is terminated right there. So let's go see where that one goes. Well, this is interesting. This hose dripped water when I picked it up, but the hose I just turned on a minute ago was not flowing out here. So maybe there was just water in this. Well, so there's a system of hoses that kind of figurates around these trees. So they must have had some stuff planted here near where my hydrangea is. So they had the same idea, but I don't have any water out here right now. And I'm kind of running out of time. So I gotta get water back here. That needs to be my number one goal right now. I filled these up a bit too high. So I'm gonna slosh water all inside the bucket or I don't know, groundwork cart. There you go. Um, on the way out there, which is fine. But you know, as heavy as it is to pull two five gallon buckets and several two liters, it really makes you stop and think. You know, what about the kids in Africa who don't go to school because it's their job to cart water all day long so that their family has enough water? Imagine how heavy that is for little kids to do. First world problems, right? Can't get the water hose or can't figure out where the water hoses go on your property. Boy, we sure are lucky. <laughs> Very lucky. All right, <clears throat> so I put two two liters of water on the impatience and also on the hydrangea. And I'm leaving a full bucket of water and a full two liter here so that I have water for the next few days while I'm hurrying back and forth to work. Uh, I am gonna bring a lid out here because I do not want them to become mosquito breeding grounds, which is this is the perfect time of year for. I have also brought my avocado plant out to get some sun. He's a little droopy. <laughs> He's not too happy right now. I'm gonna bring him back inside. Wow, it's bright. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. I am going to go and start getting ready for work and dream about all the things I could be doing in the garden. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Bye.